In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create 12 months of project timelines or a Gantt chart in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created a table where I've just put uh, 12 months starting from Jan to uh, December and uh, it is an animated slide. So let me just show you how it works when I click. Uh, for each month i have just given some different color combination in form of the oval shape and when i click the first task comes so my first task starts from jan till march and here you can add the task name and the task details here and the right tick mark means it is the task is already completed so likewise i can just show all the remaining tasks so let me just click the next task comes which is starting from mid of february until uh, march sorry until april and this is the task two and then the detailed text and then this is the task three you can see here task four five six seven eight nine and the last is task ten so depending on your requirement either you can increase or decrease the task and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to insert a table for that go to insert tables I can just select insert table and it asks me number of columns so I am going to add uh, 12 columns for 12 months and number of rows I need to and click ok so it becomes something like this it shows something like this and then I can just reduce or increase the size for example I want to reduce the size of this you can just go to the layout and you can see here the height and width so height and width I can just reduce it depending on my requirement and this also i can just increase it you can see here with this i can increase it easily so depending on my requirement i need to increase or decrease and then the width also i can just increase it you can see something like this and then i'm just going to bring it down here and then i'm going to select all the columns and then go to the design you can see here and shading i'm going to say no fill so nothing will be uh, visible here because everything is white now then what happens is i'm just going to change the 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 boxes only or the layout only or the borders i can say that's the true word the borders so for that what i'm going to do is which color of that borders you need so i'm just going to select one light color or light gray background and then depending on the which width you want i can just select the width and then you can see the borders here i can just say all borders and when i click can you see here the borders are visible it's a light we need light borders only and then i'm just going to add the names of the month so i'm just going to select this go to the layout and then make sure that it is uh center vertically and here also it is center okay then go to the home tab and maybe if you want you can just make it bold or whatever color if you want blue color or whatever uh, the font you can just choose it then i'm just going to type see this is jan feb march april may june july august september october november and december so you can see here i've added this one now what we need to do is we need to add the task or the projects for each month so before adding the task if you want to fill this with some light colors you can see here i'm just going to select all of this and then i'm going to just design and shading i can just choose some light color here or any color of your choice whichever color which you feel better for example i'm going to just choose this light blue then go to the format you can see here let me just go to the format background then i'm going to just choose this and then i can just increase the transparency level so it becomes more a lighter color you can see something like this now to add the task it's very simple i'm just going to add uh, some basic shapes you can see this rectangle so first task starts from jan to feb so i'm just going to make it smaller so what happens here is this table will help us to identify when the month is uh, starting or ending so this is my uh, the first task which is from the jan to feb 
shape outline i can make it no outline and then if you want you can just choose one color or you can choose a gradient fill also so for example i'm going to use two stops so whichever color combination which you feel better for example one is uh, orange and another one i'm just going to choose some light orange color or yellow color whatever you can see something like this or this is more looks like more orange so let me just put like this you can see here so this is my first one now my second task starts from say mid of february till april so i'm just going to press ctrl d and then i'm just going to change the color of this so that we can easily differentiate you can choose any color of your choice depending on your requirement so let me just choose some random colors here maybe i'm just going to choose this color and i'm going to change with some other uh, different color combination you can see here and then this one i'm just going to increase the height a little bit as i said this has to start from the middle of the february till april so i can just increase it something like this and then just send this to back all right so likewise i need to just add let me just add few more so for example here this is i'm going to add from uh, first of all let me just change the color some dark color uh, with some light color combination or any other color combination of your choice you can just choose it and then this should start from say from march until may only and because here if you keep like this it will not be visible so i'm just going to increase the height a little bit so that we know exactly when this is starting so i'm just going to send this to back so you can see here likewise i just need to add one by one and one more there's a gap here for example in the mid of june only something is starting so again i can just reduce the size you can see here and this goes till september for example and then again for this also i'm just going to change the color so maybe some red color combination with some light colors or light pink or whatever you can see here something like this so this one is starting from here mid june until uh, september all right so now one more i'm just going to add which is starting from say july and this one i'm just going to change the color to some other color maybe some brown color i'm going to give you can see here and then if i put it here again as i said it will not be visible so maybe from august it is starting again i'm just going to increase a little bit so depending on your requirement so and this one it will come something like this you can see here and one more thing for example if something is starting only from the from only for the month of uh, say july so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this duplicate and then i'm going to just change the color and here i'm just going to maybe some uh, dark teal color i'm just going to use it you can see something like this and then as i said this is only for the month of july let me just put for the month of july only and maybe i can just reduce it this much size and then send this to back so you can see here this is only for the month of july this is from uh, august till october and then i can just add few more here press ctrl d and again change the color so it is up to you which color you like to choose and then i'm just going to choose maybe some blue color combination and this one will happen till here for example and then i'm just going to send this to back all right and then you can just select all of this by holding the shift key and make sure that it is properly aligned at the bottom okay something like this so now i have just added all my tasks here now it's uh, time to uh, give the identity for each task so let me just add one rounded corner rectangle you can see here i can just add one rounded corner rectangle maybe this much size or increase or decrease depending on your requirement shape outline what i'm going to do using eyedropper i'm going to use this one and shape fill i'm going to make it white and here i can just type my task one but the color is white the font size maybe i'm just going to make it black and then i'm just going to type tasks one you can see here 
maybe if you want bold again the same color i'm going to use it what i have used inside and then how do i know th whether this is for this one so i have to just use some arrows i can just use some arrow here and i can just point it here and for this also i'm going to give the same color here so likewise so this is my task one i can just select and duplicate this one this is my task 2 so i'm just going to increase the size a little bit and then let me just drag it down you can see here and again i'm going to select this this could be here and if you want you can just reduce the size of this you can just hold the shift key and then i can just bring it down you can see here something like this so likewise i can just duplicate one by one and I can just, uh, you can see here, again this one should be a bigger one. So I can just increase the size and then this one has to go and put it here. Alright, so likewise I can just copy one by one and then just duplicate it so that you can easily identify your tasks or the projects, whatever you call it as i said then it's very easy for me i can just simply select this and then i want to give the font color this one the border color i can just go here and i can choose the same color and for this also i'm just going to choose the same color okay so likewise you can just come continue uh, with the remaining so you can see here with this color and again for the same color i'm going to use and for font also i'm going to choose the same color you can see here so this is task one this is task two this is three four five six and seven so i've just added seven tasks only so depending on your requirement you can add the task and then if you want you can just add some detailed text here All right, and then I can just maybe give a gray color. Sorry, I'll just give the gray color. Reduce the size. Let me just make it maybe 10 for all. And then I'm just going to add it here. So depending on your requirement, you can just add the detailed text. Increase or decrease, press Control D. You can see here again control D and this one here okay now uh, for example say this uh, first three tasks are completed so what you can do is either you can just go to insert icons and you can just choose any good icon from here for example let me just show you uh, I just need a tick mark so I can just scroll it down and then there should be one tick mark here. Yes, you can see here, I can just select this one, click insert. All right, and then I'm just going to give a color as green color so that we know this job is done. Hold the shift key, reduce the size, and then I'm just going to put a tick mark here. So that means I'm saying that, okay, these are the tasks which are already are completed and then this task are not yet started or you can just give some any other symbol to identify and you can give a legend at the bottom uh, for the the tick marks and then here at the top you can just add the title and if you want to do some basic animation you can just add the animation to it